We devoted an entire chapter in the second edition of Dancing with Water to how geometry influences the molecular structure of water. Some of the new sciences reveal the entire universe is based on geometry. Geometry that encourages spiraling motion which in turn creates torsion fields and vortices that conduct the flow of energy. Without geometry, there would be no organized pathway for the flow of energy. In Dancing with Water, we discuss some of the research that shows how energy can be focused and intensified using shapes. So it was not a surprise to us when we discovered that the shape of the Aladdin glassware helped to organize the molecular structure of water. The shape of the design also creates a unique harmonic resonance that establishes coherence. And coherent molecular structure is fundamental to the creation of what we refer to as full spectrum living water. So let me explain a little bit deeper. At the very foundation of geometry is something known as the golden ratio or the divine proportion. I don't want to go into how the golden ratio was derived or the volumes of research that substantiate its significance in mathematics, biology, and even in music. That kind of information is available everywhere. But just let me say that the golden ratio represents a hidden harmony in the natural world. It describes the growth of some of nature's most complex and orderly systems, and it creates a logarithmic fractal spiral where each part is a smaller version of the whole. Golden ratio spirals appear to focus and organize source energy. They help to bring in organic light and life force into physical form. Examples of this are the organization of the seeds in a sunflower and the spiraling pattern of all seashells, most seashells. There are many shapes that echo golden ratio proportion. For example, pyramids, cones, and the shape of an egg. Turns out these shapes can serve as wave guides, and according to research, they're capable of capturing and translating energy from the universal field of energy. They can have an influence on water's molecular structure. It was Victor Schauberger who showed us how the shape of an egg was ideal for the storage of water. It's based on golden ratio proportion. And the shape of an egg is epitomized by an infinite number of golden ratio spirals. Aladdin glassware is similar. Originally crafted by a musician, it selects a chord from the infinite number of golden ratio spirals in an egg-shaped container, and it uses that cord to create the gradations in the design of the carafe. These gradations also establish that harmonic resonance I spoke of that further, further participates in the creation of water structure. Within a very short period of time, water placed in an Aladdin carafe becomes more organized and achieves a delicate refinement, similar to the kind of refinement that occurs within an egg-shaped vessel. Testing using a similar uh, method to the one developed by Dr. Emoto in Japan verifies how quickly the water inside the Aladdin carafe acquires liquid crystalline properties. Now some people prefer the shape of an egg for bringing water to ultimate refinement. It does have a a very natural and primordial feel. But there are some circumstances where the elegance of glassware cannot be matched. Glass itself is made of silicon dioxide, which is quartz. Quartz has its own properties that are very similar to water, so glass is very supportive of water's organized structure. Quartz is also one of the most prominent minerals on the earth, and it holds the Earth's resonant frequency, which is something else that is important for water. Aladdin glassware, beloved by water and a must for any water connoisseur. 
Now during the writing of the first edition of Dancing with Water, I began a practice of dancing in the morning, morning as a form of exercise. On one occasion, I had made some special water in the Aladdin carafe, and it was sitting in the center of the dining room table as I began to dance. Something unique happened that morning, and at one point as I spun around to the music, the carafe on the table caught my eye in an unusual way, and I had this sense that the spirit of the water within had risen from the carafe and was hovering above it, almost waiting. Still dancing, I offhandedly said out loud to the water, Oh, so you're the real genie in the vessel. And then realizing what I had said, I stopped dancing and stared at the carafe and the imagined essence of the water that was hovering there. And I thought to myself, but of course, water that's been structured with love and intention in this vessel is ready to receive information, almost like a wish to the genie in the story of Aladdin's lamp. Water made in this vessel, similar to water made in an egg-shaped container, is extremely receptive and it is ready to receive imprints and information. As soon as I had gotten my aha and as soon as I had completed that thought process, it was almost as though the spirit of the water gracefully dropped back into the carafe, or so it seemed to me. In keeping with that message, let me say that these beautiful carafes are especially nice to make elixirs, uh, gemstone essences, and homeopathic type preparations because the water made in this vessel is so receptive. The water holds information for a long period of time when you protect it from direct sunlight and electromagnetic fields, microwaves, and that sort of thing. At Dancing with Water, we love the Aladdin vessels.